Hello, welcome back to Laser Cut and Fly RC Models. I'm the Laser Model Guy. What I want to do today is I want to take the Dixie out for a test flight. So this will be the Dixie's maiden flight. Now for those of you who watch the series, the Dixie is the aeroplane that we designed ourselves using some uh, very simple rules of thumb. So I'm really excited to find out if it will fly and how well or how well it flies, if it flies. Um, and I'm just really looking forward to trying it or to testing it out. So uh, just a couple of things. The uh, centre of balance seems absolutely perfect when I, um, you know, when I, when I check that. Um, it, it looks well and I think um, the next thing for us to do is let's get out there and give it a go. Okay, before we start, what we need to do is, uh, first of all, we'll have to put the battery in, connect up the, uh, the servos on the wing, and um, we'll just do a few checks. So the battery uh, that I'm using is uh, it's a, it's a LiPo 2, 2S. Um, so all I'm going to do is just make sure that we've got no power going to the propeller or the ESC. And I can turn that on. What I need to do is connect the the wing servos before we before we do anything else. Very straightforward. Just connect the plugs in. Make sure that the the yellow wire or the white wire is on the same side. So that's those connected. Now I can. connect the battery and then put the battery in place so making sure that we're switched on on our transmitter so that um, the receiver will discover it as soon as the battery is plugged in and you'll hear that happen right now okay so the battery is going to go inside and there's a piece of velcro on the bottom plate that holds the battery in place so if you just come and have a look and what we can see is we've got our batteries in place the batteries in place as you can see there and it's velcroed onto the base plate. We've got our gyro here and we've got our receiver there. And um, what I'll do is I'll just put the wing on and I'll show you how that all works or how the gyro uh, works together with the receiver. Okay, so the wing just fits straight on. And if you remember in the, um, when we, in the design phase, we put V shapes in the two formers front and back of the wing so that uh, now sits perfectly in place if we just take a couple of bands what we can do is we can just go from these little pegs and just connect the wing on Now what we've got is we've got our ailerons which, uh, which we can control, we've got our elevator which we control and we've also got our rudder which we can control and now I'll just show you what, this, what the gyro does. We've got the gyro set up for stabilisation mode at the moment. How the gyro you works see. then is um, you can see that if the plane were to go into a dive you can see what happens to the elevator. The elevator changes direction automatically and if it was to go into a climb you can see how the elevator goes down. So you can see what the gyro does there but also if you look at the ailerons if it tips then the ailerons will change 
and bring it back. And so that's the gyro. And I'll do a video later on showing you how to set the gyro up and the type of gyro that we're using. Okay, let's go and fly. Whoa, that was great. We um, had a successful maiden flight. Absolutely no, no bumps, no bumps, no scrapes. So, um, so what I would call a really successful day. Dixie flies really well. It's a little bit responsive or over responsive on the elevator. So it did uh, move a lot when I, when, I, um, when I operated the elevator control. So what I'll do is this horn here, I might make that a little bit longer so that it moves the elevator a little bit less. Um, so I might, I might do that. But nevertheless, a really successful day. Um, so if you haven't watched the series where we build the Dixie, then it'd be a good idea to, uh, to have a look and you'll see how we went about build the build and the, the design. Um, so thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you all next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.